What you're observing here is I'm using an Arduino Uno and I'm using an MOC3010 um, triac output optocoupler. While you normally use these to operate higher powered triacs, if you keep your current under 300 milliamps or less than 25 watts, you can drive an LED lamp directly without an additional triac. As you see here, this is a 120 volt LED bulb. Let's look closely at the circuit. Not much to it. All right, here's a photo of what you saw in the video. Once again, it's an Arduino Uno. Um, I said 30, an MOC 3010 in the video. This one is a 3011. They're pretty similar. Similar characteristics. This is an LED light. It's 650 lumens and it draws 8 watts of current. So, and it's just, as you saw, it was being switched on and off or blinking with the Arduino Uno. Let's move on down a bit. Again, here's the schematic. It's really fairly straightforward. While this says 25 watts max, I would not go that high. I would limit it to probably 15. This circuit is also good for, uh, I use it, I use this circuit here for 24 volt incandescent small light bulbs that are panel lamps. These are low current devices. Don't try using this for, say, lights that are used in cars or 12 volt uh, auto lights or stuff like that. You'll blow it. They draw too much current. So LED bulbs and low power 24 volt panel lamps, sure, and, L and these NE2 indicators can also work with this. One final thing to note, oh, this is rated for 300 milliwatts, as I remember. This down here is a no another type of similar triac with a photo triac detector. It's only rated at 150 milliwatts, so it can't carry the power that these type can. The re and as far as zero crossing goes, if you're using any two lamps or LED lamps, you don't need a zero crossing circuit. If you have it and you use one of these, be aware that it is it has less power handling capability than do the non-zero crossing types. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Again, I would not run this up to 25 watts. Um, limit it to about 10 to 15 watts would be a good number. Thanks for listening.